Hello, welcome to Lesson 6, Operators in C-Sharp, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we'll learn what is operator and what are the types in the operators in C-Sharp. Assignment operator, arithmetic operator, relational, logical, short circuit logical operators, bitwise, shift operators, conditional operator or ternary operator. In this session, I'm going to cover assignment operator, arithmetic operator, relational operator as well as logical operator. Right now, we'll jump into assignment operator. In C sharp, the assignment operator is single equal sign. It means that if you want to assign a value to any variable, then you can use a assignment operator that is single equal sign. And the general form of assignment operator is variable name equals expression. It means that the type of variable name must be compatible with the type of expression. It means that if you want to store a string value to a variable, then the expression that is the value should be matched with the data type also if you're going to store a string value and the respective data type is string to that variable assignment operator creates a chain of assignments for example int x y z x is equal to y equals z is equal to 100 here are the variables x y z are set to 100 using a single statement this works because the assignment operator yields the assigned value and the main advantage of assignment operator is it creates a chain of assignment and this is an easy way to set a group of variables to common value. To understand this, we'll do code. We'll jump into coding. I'll start a Visual Studio. I've created a project, and I'll just erase out this code. And the project name is Operators in C Sharp, and it's a console application. Here, I'm going to use. I'm going to show the use of assignment operator. Right now, I'll create an integer data type, and a variable is a, and I'm storing. A value 100 to it. Now, as in C sharp, the assignment operator is single equal sign. The advantage of single equal sign is you can store a value to a variable. Now, when I create a value, when I create a variable called a and data type is integer, now if I want to store a value to it, then you can use the assignment operator. It just assigns the value to the respective variable where we are using. And as other users, it creates a chain of assignments. Suppose if, if you're having variables called, I mean, I'll erase these things. Having a variables called x comma y comma z. Now, if you want to store the same value to all the variables, then you can go with the assignment operator. It x equals y equals z equals now I'm setting all the variables should have a common value called 100 now to confirm whether the assign assignment operator has worked or not I'll print this variables in the console window in order to do that I need a console class and the right line function in C sharp we have a shortcut for that I'll just use I'll just type C and W and tab it twice it will give you a console dot right line now I'll print this variables on the console window value of x colon I'll just call that variable similarly I have to you I have to call the other two variables also y and z just copy the sentence and I'll print it I'll paste it now I'll change your respectively and the variables to alignment align it properly and the variables to Now my program is ready. Ready. Now I want to check whether the assignment operator has done its work or not. Now I'll run this program by pressing Ctrl F5. Here the output is as expected. It has assigned all the value, all the variables with the value 100, and it created a chain of assignment. We'll jump back into presentation. The main advantage of assignment operator is it creates a chain of assignment. That is, it is an easy way to set a group of variables to a common value. We'll move into next present next slide. Here is the increment and decrement operator. Before that, we'll understand what is arithmetic operator. Arithmetic operator in C sharp includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and we have special operators here called modulus operator, increment, and decrement operator. I would not I will not take much time on explaining the first four operators that is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. I'll directly jump into the last three operators that are modulus operator, addition, uh, increment operator and the decrement operator. Here 
I would like to explain few special a few special situations when the division operator is used is applied to any integer and the remainder will be truncated that is for example if I divide 10 by 3 and integer division it will be a 3 the output will be 3 and now I want to obtain the remainder of this division by using a special operator called modulus operator it yields the remainder of an integer division for example I'll jump into Visual Studio here I'll erase out these things as said I'll store a value to a variable that is 10 and I'll I'll try to divide this by 3 I'll take another variable to store that I'll take B and I'll divide A by 3 that is 10 by 3 now I'll print that variable output will be as expected it will be 3 but it, it will not give us the remainder 1 how to do how to get that remainder is I'm instead of using this division operator we have a special operator to get out the to get the remainder that is modulus operator now when I use this modulus operator it will give me the remainder of an integer division for example when I run this program I'll get the remainder as 1 that is the power of modulus operator in C sharp in C sharp the modulus operator can be applied not only for integer it can be applied for both the integer and the floating points as well and the next operator we're going to learn are increment operator and the decrement operator we have a presentation for that increment and decrement operators the increment operator adds 1 to its operand decrement operator subtracts 1 from the operand it means that you are already having a variable called x and you have assigned a value 10 to it now if you want to increment that 10 that variable by 1 then you can go for an increment operator that is you are having variable called x and the value for x you are given is 10 therefore you want to increment by 1 then you can do it by do it do it like this x is equal to x plus 1 that is x is equal to 10 plus 1 is same as x plus plus here the output will be 11 and here the output will be also 11 that is the use of increment operator instead of writing this lengthy code you just use this operator to increment your variable by 1 similarly to decrement just use double minus sign to decrement to use the decrement operator below both the increment and decrement operators can either precede or follow the operand it means that you can place your increment or decrement operator before the variable or offer after the variable and what is the advantage of it when an increment or decrement operator precedes its operand precedes its operand the result of the operation is the value of the operand after the increment if the operand follows its operand the result of the operation is the value of the operand before the increment to see this we'll jump into coding I'll fire up Visual Studio I've already created multiple projects here I'll go with increment operator and I'll open the program of that here I'm, I'm having a variable called x and the type is integer and the value I have assigned to that variable is 10 now I want to increase 10 by 1 means I want to do I want to increase x is uh, 10 to 11 that is I want to increase x by 1 point that is x by 1 that is I can do like this x is equal to x plus 1 to do that now I'll run the program the output will be I have to set this a startup project if you're having multiple projects in your solution then I have to set, set the target project as a startup project to run the particular program I'm doing that now when I run this program the output will be as expected 11 instead of writing this lengthy code now I'll use the increment operator to do that work that is x equals plus plus and the output now will be as expected 11 this is the power of increment similarly you can do it for decrement operator also we'll jump back into presentation to understand the increment and decrement operator with the prefix and postfix we'll see these things in the upcoming sessions right now I'll jump back into presentation 
नेक्स्ट ऑपरेटर्स आर रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स एंड द लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स एंड द लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स द रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स और द लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स कम इन टू एग्जिस्टेंस इन टर्म्स दैट रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स इट इंक्लूड्स द इक्वल टू द फर्स्ट वन एंड दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू ग्रेटर दैन लेस दैन ग्रेटर दैन और इक्वल टू लेस दैन और इक्वल टू एंड कमिंग टू लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स वी हैव एंड एंड ऑपरेटर और ऑपरेटर एक्सक्लूसिव और एंड नॉट ऑपरेटर इन दिस सेशन वील लर्न द रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स एंड द लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स इन टर्म्स रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर एंड द लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स रिलेशनल रेफर्स टू द रिलेशनशिप्स दैट वैल्यूज कैन हैव विथ वन एंड अदर इट मीन्स दैट यू आर हैविंग टू वैल्यूज एंड देर विल बी सम रिलेशन एग्जिस्टिंग बिटवीन दैम टू चेक आउट वॉट वॉट इट इज वील यूज द रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स logical refers to the ways in which true or false values can be linked together uh, the output of logical operators it, it is always a bool value that is true or false since the relational operators produce true or false results they often work with the logical operators what i am trying to say is since the relational operators also produce true or false results they often work with the logical operators also for this reason i am going to discuss the both the operators that is relational operators and the logical operators together and the output of both the operators are a bool value that is true or false in order to check equality or inequality we will have in order to check the equality or inequality we will have uh, equal to operator and not equal to operator now logical operators are the operands of the type must be of type bool in the logical operators the operands that is the operands must be of type bool and the result of logical operation is a type bool the result of logical operation is type bool and i would like to show a image uh, where what the logical operators support the basic logical operator op operations that is this is the image i'm having operators uh, and operator or operator exclusive or and not operator here you can check out uh, when the operands are both false and output of and operator is always false similarly you can explore for the rest of the things that is uh, for when for or operator if it is true the one operand is true another one is false then the output will be true to understand the logical relational and logical operators i'll jump into visual studio here relational logical operators i have created a project for it now i have to set it as start a project now i'll open the program in it here i have created a program where you can get the clear cut demo of it i have declared first i have declared a variables i and j of type integer and i have click declared variables b1 and b2 of type bool now in the second line i have assigning a value 10 to i and 11 to j next the rest of the code what i have done here is i have used the relational operators to give a demo on them first is i'm checking whether it is less than i is less than j and the second one is i is less than or equal to j not equal to j equal to j i is equal to j greater than or equal to j or greater than j this is the example for relational operator similarly i'm assigning the values for the bool variables that is b1 and b2 for b1 i'm setting it as true and b2 i'm setting it as false and here i'm using the respective operators that is first one is and operator and operator or operator and exclusive or and not i'm using the not operator now when i run this program you can check out the output of this i'll run you by pressing control f5 you can check out the output is as expected and when i do this i is equal to j it is it is false so the respective line will not execute only if it is true the output will execute in the console window as you, you can see here similarly for the lo logical operators also you can see the output is 
only for the last three only for these th these things you have got the output the first one it is not executed because the bool values will execute in the console window only if they are true thank you please subscribe to ankpro technologies below